This is Squarespace. Actually, it isn't Squarespace. It's a Webflow website with Locomotive Scroll installed. So if you're unfamiliar with Locomotive Scroll, and it's this cool effect where when you stop scrolling, the page briefly carries on and slowly comes to a stop. And in this video, I'll show you how to add this to your Squarespace website. So this is actually Squarespace, and other than the fact that the side menu is upside down, everything's normal about this page, except that the address bar says we're on rectanglespace.com. So this will work in both versions 7 and 7.1 of Squarespace, and disclaimer before you install this, according to the Locomotive Scroll GitHub page, scroll hijacking is a controversial practice that can cause usability, accessibility and performance issues. Please use responsibly. So on that note, the first thing we need to do is grab the code that makes this work, which you'll find in a post on my website, link in the description as always. And back in Squarespace, we'll go over to the site-wide code injection, so settings, advanced and code injection, and we'll paste this into the footer and save. And that's it, it's that simple, you'll see it straight away in the designer. Now there are some implications to using this code. First of all, if you're on a Squarespace 7 template that supports parallax scrolling, so one of the Brian family for example, and you've got parallax enabled, there can be a bit of a conflict between parallax and locomotive scrolling, which stops some index page background images from loading. A fix for this is to disable parallax on your site, so design, site styles, and turn off parallax. This is also the case if you're using any of Squarespace's built-in animations in version 7.1. Again, this will stop page items from loading properly, so you need to disable any animations for this to work. Oh, and one last thing, this doesn't work too well in the Wells template because of the way the HTML of the template's structured. So don't use it on Wells because it'll break the internet. And on that bombshell, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, leave us a thumbs up below. If not already, consider subscribing to see more stuff like this. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.